Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here with Gomrath Games, and today I am bringing you a guide on how to obtain the Lashtail Hatchling Companion Battle Pad. Um, my cliff notes are provided by a wonderful Wowhead user, Glowrim. Uh, I will leave a link to the comment that he left that I'm basing this video off of. And um, I will not be covering how to get this pet as alliance. This is at least the vast majority of this is Horde exclusive up until the very end where Horde and Alliance share the same uh, last portion of the quest line. So in order to see the last tail hatchling inside of Zulgarub after killing Bloodlord Mandakir, you must first complete a small quest line in Northern Stranglethorn. Now, that being said, I did every single quest in Stranglethorn on my warrior while I was getting this pet. I, uh... Did not read any guides for it. I just knew that it started uh, in Grom Girl and then it eventually led you to get it. So I did all of Northern Stranglethorn and I got the achievement for doing all the quests there, which I had never done before. Um, but anyway, it all starts in Grom Gaul. Now you get a quest from Commander uh, Agrogosh. It's called the Defense of the Defense of Grom Gaul or Raptor's Risk. Uh, once you complete the quest, a Lashtail Hatchling and a Lashtail Raptor Egg, uh, you'll get them automatically. The egg will appear in your bags, uh, or it'll go to your mail if your bags are full. So, then they send you on a quest called Next, or I think she's Hungry, uh, where you gotta feed your baby raptor murloc meat. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this because murlocs are somewhat sentient. I mean, anyway, ethics aside... You go with your raptor and you kill murlocs and you let your raptor eat the murlocs. Now it takes three or four bites and then the the corpse will disappear. So uh, just take your time, uh, do it on foot. If you fly around, sometimes your raptor will despawn. So yeah, there's that. Now after you finish that, uh, you will be given a quest to head out to the Bilal ruins. And you walk by this pile of skull, your hatchling will run and grab one of the skulls and give you the quest called a flavored skull, uh, which you need to take back to Nimboya over in Grom Gull. Then, once you turn in all the quests, uh, the cauldron itself will offer you a quest called a nose for this sort of a thing. Um, then you do a couple more quests, who's a big troll, the skull splitter mojo, um, they just kind of run you all over the place. Uh, then you eventually get a quest uh, out of the cauldron. Bloodlord Mandakir, he actually appears and he offers you a quest uh, with the exact same name. And he's just really trying to steal the raptor from you. So anyway, you continue on that quest line. Finally, you get a quest to go speak to Priestess Harula. Now, at this point, you are very close. She has you do a couple things where you have to kill raptors and pick feathers off them. And then she has you get a powerful reagent, which is a very small troll's brain. And so you fly over, you kill a troll, and you steal its brain and bring it back to her. So a little gruesome, honestly. And then you go into this like mind trance and you get to control yourself a little uh, Lashtail Hatchling. And anyway, you go through this short quest as the Lashtail Hatchling. It's a little unintuitive and it took me a couple tries, uh, but I finally was able to do it in probably about six minutes or so. And once you complete that scenario, this is, this is a key to something you gotta know now you run Zul uh, Zulgarub uh, I continued to quest on Gomrath for almost two hours and was like when do I get the end of this quest chain and then I came and checked Wowhead and they're like hey once you finish the mind vision quest you're good to go go into Zulgarub kill him and you get your pet so Overall, uh, I think when I recorded it a second time on my priest, um, it only took me 30 minutes to do the whole thing from the very beginning. And I, I may have done a couple side quests that I didn't need to. It was just I wasn't 100% sure I was doing like the exact correct quest. So he's not a great pet. He's a balance balance raptor. There are much better raptors all throughout the world. 
uh, like there's a raptor that drops here in Northern Stranglethorn that is a power power breed. This guy's balance balance, uh, which is the least amount of stats you can have. Overall though, the quest line really is not that bad. Um, if you read the quest text, it's kind of cool to learn about how the uh, people in Zulgarub, they enslave raptors and whatnot. But um, once you get past the gimmicky uh, scenario that they have you do, really it's not, it's not horrible. Um, especially if you don't go and do every single quest in uh, Northern Stranglethorn. Um, once you finish the scenario, you just run into Zulgarub, you kill the last boss, um, oh, not the last boss, excuse me. Uh, the guy who drops the panther, no, he drops the, uh, the raptor, pardon me. You kill him, and then, uh, just behind him, you'll see this tiny little raptor chained up. And it's a terrible, sad thing, but you get him as a pet, and it's wonderful, and... It's the end of this guide. If you found this at all helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content, and it was a pleasure gaming with you.